You might have watched my recent video where I compared three Taurus models, the Pyco one, the Jürgendorfer one, and the Roko one. I wanted to do a follow-up video where I fitted sound to the two that didn't have sound, and upgraded the speaker in the one that did. The Jägendorfer model already had sound, but I've upgraded the speakers, and I'll show you which ones I used later in the video. The other two didn't have any sound at all, so I fitted sound with the best speakers that I could fit into them. I was surprised how big a speaker I could get into the Roco model. It were a lot better than I expected. First up, the Pico model. This one's got an 8-pin socket and the decoder just sits in the middle on top of the circuit board. I used a 25x25 megabase speaker at each end facing downwards. These aren't held in place, they're just kind of wedged between the chassis and it's a perfect fit, so that's a good speaker to use in this model, I think. This Loxound 5 decoder has been loaded with the Taurus file from the ESU website. Have a look at these couple of clips and it gives you an idea what it sounds like. Next up, the Jägendorfer model. This was the only one that already had sound in it, but I've changed the sugar cube speaker which I showed you in yesterday's video for a 27mm round bass enhanced at the end where the speaker was, and a 22x13x7 bass enhanced at the other end. There wasn't as much space in this model as I expected. When I first looked at it yesterday I thought I'd be able to get quite a big speaker at each end and I'd have been happy with that, but as it turned out I could get a fairly big speaker at one end but there wasn't really space for anything at the other end. So when I'm using smaller speakers I prefer to try and use two, uh, which is why I've put the 22 by 13 at the other end, just to give it a bit more balance and uh, it makes it sound a bit more powerful having two in there. This model still has the factory sound installed, so it's very similar to the others, but it does sound slightly different, which you might notice in these couple of clips. The final model is my favourite one from yesterday, it's the Roco one. This surprised me actually, I could get a bigger speaker in here than I was expecting to be able to, because it is designed for two small 15 by 11 speakers to go under the circuit board, but what I did was use one of the big tablet speakers on top of the circuit board, and it just manages to stay out of the way of everything, and the body just clips back on okay. The only problem that I did have with this model was that the pantographs were rattling. I don't know if it's because this is the most powerful speaker out of all of them, or if it's just that the pantograph on this is a bit finer or a bit more flimsy even. Um, but what I did was put some little dabs of super glue just on the joints. I didn't put them on the ones where it needs to move, I just put them on the little bits that didn't need to move in any way. And this helped and uh, it's pretty much got rid of all the rattles completely.
One of the benefits of using ESU lock sound decoders is that you can adjust the volume, the bass and the treble separately. It helps you to get the most out of the upgraded speakers. To summarise, and to give you an idea which speakers best out of the ones I've used, I'd say they all actually sound quite similar, and none of them sound out of place if you had all three on the same layout. But I think the one that sounds the best is the Roco one with the tablet speaker. It's just got a slight edge, it's a clearer speaker, it sounds a little bit more powerful and bassy, um, it's loud too. So out of all of them, that's the one that I think sounds best and can be made to sound best, which is good because it's also the model that I like best as well, and I've got a couple more of them coming, so they'll all get the same treatment eventually. Please leave a like on the video, and if you don't already subscribe I'd appreciate it if you would. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another video.